JBL for 10. Thank you so much. Can you do a video or quickly comment on Kathleen Kennedy replacements you would like to see uh, Lucasfilm slash Disney two-year get well plan? Uh, George Lucas, <laughs> John Favreau. I think yeah, I would say John Favreau, as long as he's not suffering from PTSD from having to have worked with Kathleen Kennedy. Uh, yeah, I, I really think those are probably the only two. Everyone says Dave Filoni. I would disagree. Um, you know, I, I think that uh, I think I think John Favreau is I think he understands what Star Wars is. And I think you bring George Lucas back in an advisory role. He's not like in the office day to day, but he comes in once a week and he gives comments. When you hear about people working with him, he would give like these brilliant, like, no, this character's named this, or here's this. He would look at designs and uh, you'll see in a lot of the behind the scenes for the prequels, he would actually like have like this rubber stamp. You'd say like, this is good. This is good. Or he had like a, he had like a blue marker, like this is digital, this is digital. And then it's like, he forgot which it was because so much of it was digital. There's like a famous thing where he's going through storyboards and so much of the movie was digital for episode one. It was kind of funny, but, um, but the, the, the thing that George Lucas had that no other filmmaker had, uh, especially in the studio was complete free reign to be created. Yes. Yes, hundred yeah, percent. You can still bring people in, but is Disney going to allow someone to go free reign and just uh, you know tell tell Star Wars stories without any corporate notes behind it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, where do you go from there? I think I really think that John Favreau with George Lucas in an advisory role, and what you do is you stop all movies, all movies and TV shows cease. Because comic books and novels are cheap. And you bring in some of the best novelists to create true Star Wars stories. How about this? How about a novel of what the Star Wars sequels should have been? Mm -hmm. A novel that basically takes that era and tells the story of Han, Luke, and Leia's final adventure. You could do that. So you start and then and then you dip your toe in and you maybe do an animated series, but you literally cease everything for a couple mm -hmm. of years. And what you're doing by making novels and comic books is you're creating new ground for storytelling, new parts and new things. Kathleen Kennedy said something I thought was very disconcerting. She said we need to move past George Lucas. Hardcore disagree. George created this universe the best ideas came from George. And I do believe the best ideas were in collaboration with other people like Marsha Lucas or like Gary Kurtz. Okay. So I think what you do is you get George Lucas advisory, you bring in John Favreau. Uh, and then also you put together, you know, they, they tout this writer's room, this writer's group. You know what I would do? I would bring in, some of the most vocal YouTubers, and I would create a fan committee and I would ask what they think of certain ideas. It's just market research. Heck, bring in people like Star Wars Theory, who has more subs on YouTube than the Star Wars channel. Okay, I've invited him on the uh, Critics Court, by the way. And next week's episode of Critics Court Nerdrotic, Gary Beekler from Nerdrotic and Az from Heel vs. Babyface will be here, along with Andrew from Legal Mindset. Who among you would like to be part of the defense? Let me know <laughs> on our Discord. It's going to be huge. Are we, are we still looking? Is that, is that what you're saying? To go up against those guys? Yeah. Um, but it, it's... Um, I think what you do is you have it go away and you do... I mean, comic writers and novelists is a cheap way to do development. You're not developing a movie, you're developing stories. And then you bring in literally, instead of a story group, you put together a fan group. This is literally a group of fans that you fly over to, to Skywalker Ranch and you tell them, look, we know you. we flew you here. You're gonna, you're gonna walk away with a gift bag. Having said that, we want your brutally honest opinion. Where is the brand? What would you like to see? How do we achieve that? How do we make the fans happy? You bring in not a story group, a fan group. And they're unpaid, 
but what you do is you get their un you get their unfiltered opinion. They get a free vacation out of it, but it's an unfiltered opinions from fans. I don't know why this isn't done for every franchise. Why would you just bring in some writers coming in? They're going to just like give their, like, here's my take on what I'm going to do. Like, how about the people that are the most hardcore fans of a thing, ask them what they want and then give them what they want and include some ideas that they may not have expected that elevates it and makes it even better. It seems so obvious that, I mean, you know, I don't know if fans are asking for something, why not give it to them? Alan, what are your thoughts on, on this? Okay. Concept? So here's what, here's what I would do. And let me see if you agree or think it's way off. I would uh, right now develop a Han, Luke and Leia animated series for Disney plus. Then I would make the Knights of the old Republic movie. And I would lean heavily in that movie in the lore and the religion of the force and kind of, establish what that is develop it evolve it expand it whatever but but take that foundational idea of the force and and do something with it and then after that you go a hundred years after ray and you tell new stories of star wars i i i agree with everything you just said except for the hundred years after ray 20 I years after ray. There. here's what i would do here's another thing that i would do you want my fan feedback the Adventures of Luke Skywalker from the Journal of the Wills. Mm -hmm. You make a series that is the Adventures of Luke Skywalker. And it takes place after Return of the Jedi. What were his adventures? Throw a little Mara Jade in there. I mean, if you look in the novelization of the first Star Wars, which I didn't even realize was called A New Hope until they did a re-release of the movie where they added that. And it was like two years after they did this re-release before the empire strikes back came out and it was episode four, a new hope. Like, wait, what? But when you look at the novelization, it said the adventures of Luke Skywalker from the journal of the wills. And it's spelled W H I L L S. We have never to this day, at least by my, maybe there's something in the comics or the novelizations. I've never heard that the wills has ever been defined. The rumor is that the wills is the species of Yoda. Yoda, Yaddle, Grogu, Grogu, whatever. They're all wills. And they have been sort of like the watcher in the Marvel universe, kind of watching because they live for so many years, right? Like, like Yoda lived 800 years. So they're basically, they have a longer view of history the wills so i mean what luke skywalker might i mean i don't know i guess luke skywalker lived into his, into his 60s technically but i don't know uh I, I don't obviously i don't like the way they dealt with luke in the end and especially rise of skywalker which united all of fans in their disdain for disney star wars but the journal of the wills would be the you know Basically, the Yoda species telling this story that spans thousands of years back to um, there's an interview I did on the Film Threat website. If you go to filmthreat.com, look up Gary Kurtz. I did an interview with Gary Kurtz where he discusses what the Star Wars prequels and the sequels were supposed to be when George was laying them out when he was working with George and the original star Wars episode one was supposed to take place 25 years, 25,000 years before the events of a new hope telling the story of the formation of the original Jedi Knights. And it was supposed to be like a Knights of the round table type of thing. That's what it was originally intended to be. And then the second two films were going to be the story of the friendship of Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi and how that, did not how that was how that fell apart leading to the rise of Darth Vader and the rise of the empire. So there you go. Uh, that's how I would do it.